association members, delegates, guests, international guests, friends and allied industry associates. It's my opportunity today to express a few remarks. I'd like to acknowledge and thank our wonderful hosts for the warm welcome that we have received upon arriving here in the great state of Iowa and have done so well. Whenever I've had the opportunity to travel in the heartland of America, I'm reminded of the lines of one of our beautiful hymns, America the Beautiful. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains majesties above the fruited plains. Certainly I have been able to see the fruited plains of this great land these last few days. I'd like at this time to express my thanks to Vice President Cook and our CEO John Meyer for our experiences in association this past year. The hosting association and each of us as members are well served by all of the dedicated, capable, and hardworking staff of our association. Likewise, I acknowledge the work and service of our board of directors and invite each one to stand as I introduce them. We'll begin with Roy Houston from the state of Kansas. Paul Burr from Wisconsin. <clears throat> and our absent member because of family conditions that has been explained to us today, Jim Burdett from Pennsylvania, who we sorely miss today. Gail Carson from Tennessee. Corey Geiger from Wisconsin. Mike Jones from Indiana. Mark Kern from Iowa. Jonathan Lamb from New York. Patrick Maddox from California. Boyd Schaffelberger from Illinois. And Peter Waterman from Maine, and Bill Wright from Utah. Thank you, Bill, and directors. <laughs> what a wonderful group of directors. Each one of us who have the privilege of serving as your leadership know full well that this association belongs to you the members, and we have the inter and we value the interaction and, and from every member, and take serious your comments, questions, and recommendations. You, the individuals, are the heart of this association. In my recent article in the Pulse, I wrote concerning our convention and its purposes. Following on that article, I'm issuing today a challenge to all in attendance. I invite you to get personally acquainted with no less than four individuals that you've never personally met before. We all need to get better acquainted. We certainly are a small fraternity in this country today, and we need to get to know each other. Certainly these friendships will add to our treasure chest of friends of life. We have had and will continue to have a reduction in the number of dairy farmers in America. This will challenge the size of Holstein USA. The delegate count of our conventions have been steadily declining. We need to make changes to protect the integrity of this delegate system. In addition to the changes being proposed at our convention, a subset of the board will be put in place to further study and recommend changes to be considered at our next year's convention. This past year, a whole history project has been started, which will be housed in Gladwell. It will take some time and much effort to move this project along. As one of the members of the committee has properly stated, quote, they were only interested in serving if we intended to do a first-class job. 
one that we can be proud of. That is certainly our intention. It is being led by a very capable committee working with the staff at Brattleboro. I feel it's important for you to have a brief update concerning Holstein's part with the Council on Dairy Cattle Breeding. Holstein has provided and continues to provide its data that is necessary to accomplish the genetic evaluations and genomic predictions now being done jointly by the Council and USDA. The material license agreement between Holstein and CDCB is in its final form and has the approval of the board of directors of this association and is currently being reviewed by the council for signature. We express at this time our appreciation to Dr. Jao Durr, who was just recent, who has just recently accepted the position as CEO of the CDCB. As stated by the chairman of the council, quote, Jao understands how the United States, the most influential dairy cattle breeding country in the world, functions and possesses the managerial skills needed to coordinate a multi-dimensional operation and the entrepreneurship required to build a solid infrastructure of service, close quote. We wish him success and with our full for and he has our full cooperation in this important responsibility for our dairy industry in the USA. Even though we haven't always agreed on issues concerning the council, we do recognize and express our appreciation for the time and effort put into the endeavors by the chairman and the vice chairman and the members of the council. The era of genomics is moving very fast. The association supports and puts effort to advance this valuable tool as a means to improve our breed and help our breeders make their choices. But in many of our minds, if I've listened carefully, they're not without some concerns that yet need to be addressed. One of the concerns is associated with the issue of the non-random sampling of these young genomic bulls. The issue of pre-release, early release, and various contracts that are in place on early distribution leave a lot of unanswered questions as to the validity of the early actual data from these animals. In years gone by, if a breeder proven syndicated bull was used in a controlled manner, this early information would have been would have had no credibility in the industry and only after random sampling occurred within the population would they be considered a value for use in the next generation. All segments of the dairy industry should have a common concern about the credibility of the data that is being and will be used going forward. USDA has been the unbiased and the objective gatekeeper in the past. And now much of that responsibility rests with the council and other segments of the industry, along with various scientists at our universities. We must not relax on the verification of our system of animal evaluations. Without current, accurate data, the ability to determine genomic values will not be possible. As part of this convention, is our youth convention, which is larger in number than the adults. We wish them well and the best, and we want to express a thank you to the Army of Volunteers and dedicated staff at all levels, the national, state, and local, for their untiring dedication to the next generation of Holstein enthusiasts. Our youth programs are a shining star. We have every reason to be proud of these programs for what they are doing for the youth of our country. I am pleased to announce that a new product will be introduced at our convention. This new tool is very exciting. 
This product has taken considerable time and effort to produce. Its, a, its creation has come about as a result of a joint effort by an important and well-respected partner and industry leader. The real, de the real details will be given at a time later in our session this morning. As an association, we continue to follow our mission statement, provide leadership, information, and services to help members and dairy producers worldwide be successful. So let the convention go forward and accomplish the purpose for which we have come together. Thank you.